High in the mountains of Kyrgyzstan lie the summer pastures. Here, during the snow-free months, the Kyrgyzstan nomadic farmers graze their herds of yaks, of cattle, of sheep and horses. And here, in the valley at Tash Rabbit, nearly 4,000 metres above sea level, there are urts to give hospitality to the occasional tourist. They may look like tents, but the walls are lined with thick layers of filth for insulation against the cold. If we raise the door flap up and go inside, we can see how comfortable a urt can be. There are warm beds for the tourists and a fire to keep the urt warm during the cold nights. There's this freestanding outside wash hand basin. And in the dining urt, a banquet is set out for our tour group. Before we leave the valley, we take the opportunity to visit a small stone caravanserai. Well, it is believed that uh, it was built at the place of an uh, old monastery, uh, full of Buddhist or um, Nestorian Christian uh, monastery uh, of 10th century. Uh, so that's why uh, this place is pretty... Far. So the main road, or uh, Silk Road, went through... Along that road we drive. So uh, that's why... Um, Although this is a well-preserved caravanserai, perhaps one of the best preserved in Central Asia, it has undergone restoration during the 20th century. Inside there are about 31 rooms, branching out from the main room under the central dome. The windows and light shafts provide just sufficient illumination to see our way around. And this was probably a sleeping platform for the overnight guests. Because of the way the hillside shapes into the caravanserai, it's easy to get up onto the flat roof and walk around beside the dome. Of course, we have to avoid falling down one of the light shafts. The caravanserai is constructed from stone and mud. In fact, the name Tash Rabbit means a stone fortress in the Kyrgyzstan language. It's time for us to leave this peaceful valley setting with this historic caravanserai. Soon it will be time for the yaks, the cattle, the horses and the sheep and the herds people to make their way down the mountain road to avoid the oncoming winter snows. <laughs>